Welcome to Intro to Mechatronics Part 12. In this problem, we want to create a ladder logic program for an automatic door with a sensor on the inside of the building and a sensor on the outside of the building, along with a sensor in the doorway to ensure that there are no obstructions in the doorway. All sensors report a true or on signal when the person or obstruction is in the way. How do we go about making a ladder logic program for this situation? For your reference in a refresher, here's a slide that goes over the basics of ladder logic. We have three inputs, which are sensor 1, 2, and 3, and two outputs, which are open door and closed door. So the way I went about this is we have three sensors that if any or multiple sensors register a person or object, the door must open. This is an OR statement, so we will place three inputs with normally open context in parallel and connect it to the output coil, which opens the door. Next, we have to make sure that the door only closes when all the inputs register a false or off input. This sounds like an AND function to me. We can use normally closed contacts in series connected to a coil that closes the door. This is stating that if there is no person or object in the way of the sensors, then the connection will be made to the coil to close the door. If any of the sensors report a true or on signal, then the normally closed contact opens and breaks the circuit and the coil is not powered on. So now let's do a literal walkthrough of this problem. First, the person is range of the first sensor, which activates the coil and opens the door. Next, the person walks into the doorway and sensor three turns on and keeps the door open. After that, the person walks to the other side of the door where sensor two turns on and keeps the door open. And finally, the person is out of range of all the sensors and the door closes again. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.